Hello everyone. Today we are going through garbage collection topic quickly. Remember this topic to just to do revision. Detailed video that is of classroom uh, I have already uploaded on YouTube and that link will be posted in the description. You can refer that if you are seeing this video on uh, YouTube. Now, what is garbage collector actually? It's a low priority thread which is mainly responsible for cleaning the memory of what unused object. Now, how to call garbage collector? See, anyway, please remember, when we say how to call garbage collector, doesn't mean that you are going and calling it and it will get run. You can just suggest JVM. And how to suggest that? You can see here, there are two ways to suggest. One, directly you can call GC method of system class, which is static there. Another, runtime dot get runtime dot gc again get runtime method what is the written type of get runtime method it's a runtime class so runtime dot get runtime dot gc one more thing you should be remembering if you look at gc method of system class and if you see inside that what is written it's written runtime dot get runtime dot gc so you can write that directly as well so in eclipse you can open that method directly you can see source code somewhere of GC method of system class, you will see that. Remember, but one more important, very, very important thing, garbage collector is not guaranteed. You can't ask garbage collector to run like that. Now, on what basis, as I said, it's not guaranteed. Then on what basis JVM decides, let me do garbage collection. Let me uh, remove unused object or let me decide on which criteria so that is there in the JVM so these are the criteria JVM is using one JVM will be always looking for unused object unclaimed object means what see this is the criteria hello H new hello hello is a class here H is an object H is a reference variable I have nullified it I assign null to it means what Whatever memory is allocated by that new keyword is now not pointed by H. So it cannot be used. And as it cannot be used, it is really not beneficial for us. And that's why JVM decided in this case, let me garbage collect it. Let me destroy that memory. But again, I'm saying, saying the same thing. Again, I'm remind, reminding it's not necessary that JVM will go and destroy this. If it is needed, if there, there is a shortage, of a shortage of memory, obviously JVM will go and will do it. Second criteria you can see here. I have created two objects of same class and I assigned one object to another object. What happens here? The memory which is allocated by first object will be assigned to another object or vice versa. Here in this example, you can see here H2 is assigned to H1. Means H1 already had memory. But now what I'm doing here, I am assigning address of second object that is H2 to H1. So whatever memory was there for hello class, which was referred by H1 is now unused. You cannot access after this third line. And that's why JVM decides to garbage collect it. Third one, if any object is out of scope, then again JVM decide, let's garbage collect it. If you have unused reference variables which are defined in the class, then also it will be garbage collected. JVM uses the mentioned set techniques and identifies unused object. Just now I discussed those. When JVM detects a shortage of memory, it invokes GC by handing over list of unused object. Summary what I'm saying, this unused object is being prepared, list of those prepared. Then it handing over to a JVM and JVM will be destroying them. I will give more detailed steps which JVM follows to do garbage collection. Internally, some other methods also got called. First, JVM detects unused object. That is first step. 
after detecting JVM prepares a list. Once list is prepared, if JVM feels memory is not there much available, then JVM will be doing following things. One calls run finalization method. We don't do this. I'm telling once again, these are the things internally happens. We don't need to do anything. Run finalization method of system class will get called. Then runtime class has one run finalization method that will also get called. Then GC will get called. First of all, system.gc, then runtime.gc. And now it cleans the memory. Just to summarize what we did, prepare a list of objects, detect them and then prepare a list, then handing over to JVM that list, then run JVM watch JVM do, run finalization method, will get called of system and runtime class, then they call GC method. Remember here, run runtime, sorry, run finalization method get called before GC. Now we discuss what run, run finalization method is doing. It calls finalize method. If you don't overwrite, object plus finalize method will get called. If you overwrite, your finalize method will get called. See this example now. I have class A. One method is there. There I have created two objects. I called explicitly. That happens automatically. You don't need to call. You don't need to use this case while doing a development in industry. You just need to write objects, uh, create objects and notify that you are not going to use that object. That's it. You don't need to do anything. But this is just for testing. What I did here, I called a run finalization method. Then I called GC. So what this run finalization will be doing is finalize method will get called automatically. And then that see you can see here what I did. I overread again. How I overridden? It's an object class. So if you look at the output, if you look at the output, you will see finalize method got called because here explicitly I wrote run finalization method. Now question may arise: What is finalize method? So this method is defined in the object class. What they wrote in this method? Nothing. They didn't write anything. Then what happens? If you overwrite this method before GC runs, it get called. What you need to write in that method? Anything you write, you will get called. If garbage collection running, before to that, finalize method will get called. But mostly what people write there, people write the thing which they want to destroy. Like if you are using a lot of resources in your class, then try to clean those up inside finalize method. But instead of in finalize method, people do in finally block also. It's a try catch. There may be question people asking. This is most common question. What it, for freshers, it's very important. Question is like, what is the difference between final, finally, finalize? All altogether, these three things are very, very different. Finally is a keyword, which refers to constant. Finally is a block, which is followed by try catch block. Finalize is here in garbage collector. Many people even got confused if in interview somebody asked them, what finalize method do? They say finalize method is used for garbage collection. No. It is, if you think that method or whatever you write in a finalize method will get called before garbage collection run. But it's wrong to say finalize method will be doing garbage collection. No. If you write your name there, it will get printed. If you write your name even there in the finalized method, it will get printed. If you write whatever code there, it will get printed, it will get executed. But we should not say that finalized method is doing garbage collector. Garbage collector is already there in place. That's the concept of uh, Java. Automatically that happens. But before going to that, Java is giving us chance to do something. Let's say sometimes interviewer ask this question like business use case just to see your logical thinking. What he says, whenever garbage collector runs in your project, I want to send an email to my employees. What you will do? I know this question doesn't have any sense. Nobody will be sending email when garbage collection run. But this is a question now. You need to answer it. So what you should say? You should remember that time. Finalized method will get called before garbage collection runs. 
So you should say, write down an email code inside finalize method so that any way, so that any time garbage collection runs, means finalized method will get called and whatever you write inside finalized method will also get called. So guys, these are the interview questions which are used in most of the interviews for garbage collection. But this is very, very important concept because whenever you go for big applications, that time this matters. This time this matters. Why? Because memory shortage, memory problem. Many a time we need to bounce the server, we need to restart the server just because of we don't use objects properly. So here, summary what we understood, we have to have use memory properly so that, so that garbage collection uh, will be running. We are notifying JVM, what is unused, what is unclaimed object, but we need to notify that. And then garbage collector will also help us. Thank you guys for seeing this video and please I expect you all to help us by commenting on this video. It will be good for us. This, is, this gives us feedback. It encourages us how to go ahead with the next videos. What are the improvements needed? So please subscribe my channel, like this video. Even if you dislike, we don't have problem. If any improvements needed, always write in the comment box. You can see here in the, uh, if uh, in, uh, you are seeing this video on YouTube, if obviously you know, on the WhatsApp you are seeing that it's the viral uh, video. Uh, if it is there on the WhatsApp, then you can just revise this topic anytime. <clears throat> Thank you.